Let's go. 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 Well, did you ever dream about hiring a helicopter flying back into the remote wilderness of Newfoundland in this case? To have a good weekend hunting trip with a bunch of buddies. Well, here's what we did. We finally uh, bit the bullet. We got flown back into the interior of Newfoundland in an undisclosed uh, location. Just setting up now for our three-day vacation back here. Big game hunting, small game hunting, no, and waterfowl. Perfect spot. Well, we were so excited we didn't waste any time. We just basically threw our gear in the cabin. And with a couple of three hours left in the day, we took to the hills to look for some garbage. We'll Mark took along his rifle just in case we came across Ten minutes in. Nice caribou. Saw some geese fly over and uh, spotted four caribou. So, you want to go after them, Mark? Is that where you yeah, want to go? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think you should go after them. Yeah, yeah. All in favor? Okay. Yeah. Right. So just like that, 10 minutes in, and we were after a nice, magnificent caribou stag that we had spotted. So the trot was on. Now it's to get close to him, close enough for Mark to make a shot. We got him over the hill here, and the caribou was after going up over the top of the ridge. Oh, that's, that's the other caribou right there. That's the same. They're both looking at different caribou. That's not too bad of a shot there. So. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't linger around too much though, because the wind is going that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll see his keys over in the barrens. See that? Yeah. yeah. Right over there, see that white rock? And the barren before the tree, before the big row of trees. Yeah, yeah. His keys right there. Well, it seemed that the caribou have smart us a little bit. Saw the uh, cat scent of us and uh, we're just kind of on top of the ridge now. I think the boys might see another one or two up there. So I'm just trying to get low in the sky, so I'll give her another little crack before we call her tonight. Heads back to the camp. Well, after about 20 minutes or more of stalking, uh, we decided that Mark was probably close enough that he could just close in a little bit more and try for a shot. And you got to bear in mind, there's not much cover in these barrens, so trying to get closer is very, very difficult. But we managed to sneak away a little bit closer, just a little at a time. No problem, dear brother. I don't think so very far. I think that is. It says 175 years. Well, Mark isn't one to take a shot lightly, so he positioned himself a couple different ways. And he actually used this stick that was growing on the barren as a rest. But of course, the caribou didn't want to cooperate right away and wouldn't turn broadside for a shot. But eventually, it got to the place where Mark was comfortable to pull the trigger. He's down. You got him, man. Good job, man. Good job. He's down. Good, clean kill, buddy. Excellent, excellent shot. Good job, Mark. You. Three day trip. Camp. Awesome. Well, we lost no time cleaning up the animal, headed back to camp for some supper. Moose breast, moose breast, fire up. Yeah. We had a little bit of moose earlier. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that went down in a, in a pretty quick hurry. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, you get the video. Oh, wow. 180 coming up. Oh, too much pressure. Well, after a good feed and a couple games of darts, headed to bed quite early, in anticipation for a big day in the morning. Oh, yeah.
Well, Leon wasn't long to up the big old feed first thing in the morning. Hash browns, bacon, bologna, eggs, you name it. Topped off with a couple of cups of coffee. Just to compliment it all, we knew the day was going to be a good day out in the barrens, so we fill up our bellies as best we could before we left. Get in the bunk, you. Get in the bed. And go get a partridge. So this is uh, day two of our uh, remote trip. Got Mark's caribou yesterday. Uh, looking for some parrot reeds today, or a goose, or a duck. Kind of a relaxed day, but uh, regards to whatever comes along type thing. Enjoy the landscape, get it for a nice walk past the barrens. And uh, just take it one step at a time. The great thing about being remote like this is that there's uh, no one around. So you have no rush to get to a particular place. Take your time and enjoy. It's the slogan of this trip for sure. So for a while to break. I was in the birds in other than two flocks of geese, so we're gonna get right to the top of a big hill. Up that way. See if we're up on a higher knobs and prep for the drier ground. Lots of walking. Saw some ducks over in this pond there. We're looking for the partridge, so we figured we'd go over and give them a try now. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to pick up a couple of them. See what happens there. So the pond is there. The birds are in that pond. The boys are gone down around the other side. That's uh, Leon and uh, Lucas are gone down to see if they can uh, get a crack at them there. I, I'm back here with Daisy. Try to give the boys a bit of a better chance. And I'll also stay here in case they fly over me. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to get one too. So let's wish the boys luck there and hopefully they get the, a little bit of meat. The boys got a couple up in the pond. Good for them. Let's go, Daisy, you're up. Go get them. Go, go get them. Seize them now, eh? Good girl, good girl. Hit the bird. Hey, you guys had a good randy at them. I looked and I said, well. You didn't look at your that close, here. I can see you, three. Go way up there, they come down here. Yeah. They come in beyond trees, they come right back to us. Yes. Good girl. What a big girl. What a good girl. Yeah, you brought the bird in. Yeah. Another one there, Daisy. Yeah. Well, the boys ended up with four nice ducks out of it. And it wasn't long after that, we took to the hills again. And Daisy started to get on some birds. Daisy's locked again. I think Liam might actually see one possibly. Oh, he had a shot. After a quick lunch, Mark rejoined us again for a bit, and we continued on with our walk, looking for whatever we could find. We spotted several caribou throughout the day, like this fella that we kind of just walked right up on. There he goes, look. Caribou, you're laid down. Haven't got the scent of us there yet. Up he goes. Man, what a, what a shot that would be. 100 yards, 120 yards. Right side. Daisy, do you see that caribou? Huh? That's a quiet caribou. Never seen human being before, no doubt. Yeah. We're looking at these four caribou, and there's eight geese in behind them. Of course, everything's up in the open here, and there's, uh, there's no cover. 
but we'll give them a try anyway like the rest of the ones we've seen today you never know we might get lucky after a bit see that's Just got one out of it. Pretty good for being out in the open. We can find his goose, eh? Yeah, how far you say he was? Well, he was over 75 paces when I picked him up. Yeah, lucky boy, eh? Spurs. Wicked. Yeah. Meant to be. Exciting, eh, Lucas? Good stuff. Daisy went missing there for a bit, or went down where the boys were shooting there. Gone a long ways, couldn't find her. Leon burst off a cheap shot, and here she comes. She knows the sound of gun. Way down there. Come on, girl. Ah, boy. Welcome to seat. After all day, walking. Six or seven hours straight. See Mark got his caribou. Hung up there. He ain't got the goose put up there. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Roughing it at the camp again tonight. Yeah. It's a lot of some rough over here. Mm -hmm. Mark put up the scarf this evening. So rough. It's like pork chops and caribou. Caribou, and yeah. Vegetables, salt, salt beef, beef, potatoes. Turnip, carrots. Woo! Feed coming up. Yeah. Well, after a delicious meal and another game of darts, we hit the bunks early. Before you knew it, it was morning again. Mark and I stayed back to process his caribou meat, and Leon and Lucas took to the hills once again with Daisy in search of partridge. This is probably our last little fry up now, guys. A bit of a lunch before we go. Some uh, goose gizzards, onions, and a bottle of moose meat all together. So that'll be good now. We'll slice some butter, bread, and a cup of tea. Wonderful. Well, the boys are just back from uh, morning hunting. They were really successful. Yeah. Saw, uh, saw about a dozen or so, did you guys? Oh, yeah. A dozen Easy. or so? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, that's just the willows. We've seen uh, two more in the rock farm. Here. Cool, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful birds. <laughs> that one, though. Yep. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Great morning hunt, guys. And I got uh, goose gizzards, bottled moose, carrots, onions, potatoes. All grilling in the pan in there for when you guys got back. So, and the kettle was all boiled for you too. Appetite worked up now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you got another one there, Leon. Two more. 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 Yeah, good nice. stuff. Well, guys, we just had a wonderful, wonderful weekend here at this remote fly in location. A dream trip for sure. A big game hunting. Mark got the biggest caribou that he's ever gotten in his life, and his biggest one I've ever seen, that's for sure. Boys did some small game hunting, got some partridges, and we got some ducks and geese. It was a great weekend. We had wonderful feeds, and it was just one of those dream things that you can only imagine ever doing once in your life for sure. Well, guys, thanks for coming along again today. Until next time, take care of each other, get outside, and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time. See, see you, you next time, guys. Subscribe. Who said that? You're <laughs> There's uh, George Party. Uh, he's hunted this area, Buckins Plateau, for many, many years. Uh, he passed away this uh, past spring. And so we dedicated this hunting trip this past few days to uh, in George's memory. And just like that, our trip was over as fast as it started. Three days of paradise in one of the most remote parts of our beautiful province. Lots of hunting, great meals, deep sleeps, loads of hard laughter, and most of all, memories and bonds amongst friends that will last forever. And if you've ever thought about taking a dream trip, you should take it, just like we did. And like us, you'll certainly be glad you did. It's the biggest one I've ever seen, that's for sure. Uh, we had had some. Yeah. Boys.
That's going in there. That's going in there. And as we flew out over the last few miles of remote country, I realized dream trips like this can actually come true. Can't wait to our next trip, boys.